It's recording. Should I use that for the thumbnail? Should I? You've probably already seen it if I did, but... Oh, do you remind me? It reminds me of that uh, girl uh, meme. She's like... A little girl? You've seen it. You've probably seen it. Okay, well. So, I don't know you guys noticed, but uh, I got a haircut. And I'm going to show you the before, but let me say that most of this I did myself. Okay, now I'm going to show you the... the before picture so yeah I did cut my hair I was using clippers to do most of it uh, all the rough edges I did by the clipper and I really wanted to learn how to cut my own hair just because I don't want to pay someone else to do it so I'd rather do it myself even though people around me were saying like oh don't do that go get it cut by someone and I was like no I want to learn something and I want to save money and people are like what if it goes wrong I'm like well it's just hair it's gonna grow back and it's fine. I will stick with it because then in that mistake, I had learned something from the failure, the mistake, which actually I didn't really do that bad getting rid of like, I had some long hair and I was just letting it grow out because you know, some men lose hair when they get older and I am one of those men. Yeah, I uh, was cutting my own hair and I used clippers and everything. I was gonna record it, but the battery died, of course, the Sony unreliable with its batteries um, but yeah I was using the clippers and it was like hmm I watched a bunch of videos how to do it and everything I always like the idea of learning anything and I always like to learn something especially if it helps you give you a skill to do something for yourself and others um, that's great but uh, I like learning at any moment and I know some people are like I only like to learn when I have to and I'm not that I'm the opposite. I'm like, I want to learn as much so I could use it to apply to do anything like a well-rounded person that I try to be or try to do. And this also video is about just consistency and doing things and trying things. And it's been a little hard these past few uh, weeks and months just because different things and you know, just the weather changes, it kind of affects a little bit and you just gotta have to do the things sometimes. But yeah, I haven't been here too long. I haven't made a video like this in a while. Um, and it's good to come here because it just uh, helps me with being, I don't know, more talkative and stuff. And just to talk to you guys to see what's, oh, what's going on. Um, yeah, I haven't seen some of you in a while. Um, I like to say hi to Andy. I don't know. He's been busy. Uh, hey, how are you doing? There's also a coming up trip with him. Um, that's going to be fun. If it all pans out, um, that's going to be fun. So hopefully, uh, I'm looking forward to that, Andy. But um, yeah, consistency. Um, I've been trying to make a video on this channel once a week. But I think one of the things that's been stopping me has been uh, me learning how to be more efficient with my time. And because I do things for myself, it, it can be hard sometimes. And it's the most, it's probably the most hardest thing to do working for yourself. Um, because the easy thing to do in life is basically to work someone for someone else. You just show up, do the thing, and then you leave. And that's the easiest thing to do in life. But it also takes, in the sense that you don't need that much effort because you already know what you have to do. And you may have to figure things out in the job anyways. But when you do things yourself, you have to figure out everything and you have to be self-motivated to do these things and so that's one of the things that i'm trying to learn to well to do more effectively self-motivation and there's lots of times where it's like yeah let's go do this and there's times where it's kind of down and you're like well you're either gonna have to push yourself to do it or you just you don't but that is just how it works and eventually i'm thinking if the more i do this be able to do the things even when I don't want to. And I notice once I like push myself to do something, it actually gets a lot easier. That's what I heard, that's what I've done myself. Um, but yeah, the problem is though, trying to learn how to be more effective with time management and then also trying to do things for yourself. And there isn't just videos I'm trying to figure out for this channel. I'm trying to figure out how to do a good consistent schedule for um, my gaming channel in which I'm thinking to do streams. So, and there's other stuff for other people I have to do so I, th I think instead of working more at night I'm trying to switch over to doing things in the morning and I'm still trying to figure that out 
it is interesting how night work and then day or early morning work has a different feel to it. Um, I kind of feel still like the creative, most creative stuff can be at night, but I feel like I kind of force that maybe in the morning if I just have a good enough time blocked off to do something. And uh, the morning definitely feels like it's really good for um, planning things, uh, especially when no one else is awake to do these things, to plan, and then you just kind of have to execute on them. I really like at least experimenting. I guess right now I'm experimenting with time management and planning. Still always trying to find a good balance in life, like everyone else is trying to find a balance in things. And yeah, it's just very interesting. This is not something they teach you, I think, at school. Maybe barely by just showing up for school at the time you have to be and to go through the different classes. Um, that's about it. But that is only helps you for just nine to five job. That's basically all the, <laughs> that you need to show up. But when you need to do things yourself, they don't really teach you that. Maybe like, hey, go do your homework, but that's about it. So there's a lot of things in school they don't really teach you how to do, which they should, um, like life things. And that is one of the life things that they don't really teach you, or at least I didn't really seem like at the time I was going to school, it was something being taught to me. But you know, who knows? People, different schools, different things. But um, main thing consistently, I got a haircut. I'm gonna try to make probably another video of me cutting my hair, hopefully it will be better. And I had to have, have someone uh, help me with the rough spots. And you know, there's a little spots uneven here or there, but uh, if you know, if I put um, product in my hair, it kind of just worked fine and it's evened out now. Um, yeah, so hopefully next time we'll see how it goes. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget if this trip video I had to this magic kingdom, the, if that video is not out yet, um, please don't forget to subscribe and check out that video will be coming out in the future. I'm going to try to put a lot of um, work in. I'm definitely going to be putting a lot of different B-roll and have to do more A-roll with vlog camera. So I really want that video to come out well. Um, maybe make it in a way that feels like kind of like how it would fit within a viral video um, type feel, but you know, you can't predict viral videos sometimes. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, everything's all right, and remember to just practice things and do things by experimenting, and that I just like doing that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this wasn't too long. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter and Instagram, it's at Adam Up Now, Adam Up Now, everyone. Um, thank you guys for watching, and yeah, see you guys around. This was good. This was good. This was good. This was good.